Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day. Mac, you're gonna kill us! No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. We might get along after all. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Memphis. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry and of Elizabeth Short, for that matter? So you matter. don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Detective, I was first on scene. How bad is it? You find her, Gonzalez? On, you can Not me. me. A family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Here she is. Look at your mark, it's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist too. I think her watch might have been torn off. What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? 
I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R&I? Back in a second. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? Detectives, R&I says a Deirdre Muller of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Muller. What'd I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? There still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. Work boots. Size eight. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. No sign of a wedding ring. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. 
When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. And did he come and get you? Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Your mom and dad never got angry with each other? They were happy? Well, not like the movies. Not like you read about in books. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. I know this is a tough time for you, Michelle, but you should really try and help the police. Hey! What gives? 